Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaw here, and today I'm gonna to chat with you guys a little bit about mindset. And one of the reasons that I try to tell people, don't think of your lifting as hardcore. Don't think of it as uh, beast mode, all these things that people do. You know, because I get that, people are like, man, you seem really chill when you lift, and I'm like, I, I am chill when I lift. And you know, I come in and I, I do a lot of this stuff fairly calm, right? Like you see me doing rep work here with you know, over 500 pounds on deficit work, right? But I'm just chill when I do it. All right, and there's a reason I do that because lifting isn't hardcore. And I always tell myself I don't train that hard, but then I, I have problems with cramps and all sorts of stuff later, uh, you know, after training if, if everything isn't perfect. So it's, it's obvious that I can even exceed my own ability to recover, right? I'm capable of doing it pretty easily. So if I am capable of exceeding my recovery ability while telling myself I'm not even training hard, then what should that tell us about training? It really isn't that difficult. And here's the issue with telling yourself that it is. When you tell yourself that it's difficult, you then become the person who has to have everything perfect, right? Instead of just saying, ah, you know, my training's easy, not a big deal. I come in and do it, get it done. Uh, you know, and just be done with it, right? When you tell yourself it's hardcore, this is beast mode. I've, I've got to, I've got to, you know, be in my zone. Really, you need to be in your zone. It's just lifting weights, guys. It's just lifting weights. You guys just watched me doing rep work flat back with 315, paused. Um, almost 50 years old. It's just lifting weights, guys. And that matters. It matters because I get people all the time who will ask me things like. What happens if you're having a bad day? How do you find your motivation? What do you mean? Do you know the reason you need motivation? You know the reason you need to be in your zone? You know why you have to have the right song? You know why you have to have your pre-workout? Because you have programmed your brain to think that this is hard. Right? You've programmed your brain to believe that this stuff that we do is difficult. And, to, and that's really fascinating because you see that there have been studies that found that a lot of the average person in the gym, when they take them in, who has, you know, six months of experience, they don't know what, how to get to muscle failure. They can't even assess it in the lab. And then when they're forced to actually take something to failure, when they thought they had one rep in reserve, they'll have six or seven when the researchers make them actually go to failure, okay? And I do most of this stuff like one rep in reserve, like I'm within one rep of failure. And I'm even telling you it's not that hard, but it's perception. It's because people have used this stuff to, to act like this is such a difficult thing. It's so hard to work out, it's so hard to exercise. I've gotta have motivation. Well, it's because you've told yourself it's hard instead of just saying, it's easy, you know what, it's not a big deal. Put you know 500 pounds on the bar and do some deficit pulls. You don't even need, you need to warm up for that. It's just lifting weights, guys. It's, it's not a big deal. You understand the difference in that mentality? Okay, here's, here's why that matters. I don't have bad days in the gym. You know why? Because it's easy. You just come in and lift the weights. And if you're doing an exercise like curls or whatever, do you want to know what failure is? When the weight stops moving, you go to curl or rep and the weight just doesn't move. Yeah, I reached failure. and think about that that's all that is you just lift and when you go to do a rep and the weight doesn't move well I guess the muscle failed when I couldn't curl it just stopped the weight stopped moving I I couldn't lift it I know people are like what but it, is it a big deal it's only a big deal if you're telling yourself it is 
But that, again, is the issue. Once you convince yourself that this stuff is hard, it becomes hard. You know why I bench press on Monday and I come in and say, okay, I'm going to work with 315 for my, my top set and rep it. Let's see how many reps I can get today. You know why I do it? You know what my motivation is? Because it's Monday. That's it. It's Monday morning. Of course, that's what I'm going to do. It's going to bench press. Tuesday, oh, man, I'm going to get in there and do some squats, some deadlifts. I got to do these incline benches, got to do my reverse hypers, my curls, you know. Because that's what day it is. You just get up and do it. You just get it done. Just be chill. Do your thing. And it's that easy. When you accept that it's that easy. As long as you approach this with the mindset of, this is hard, this is hard work. Oh, I'm going to be sore. I'm going to hurt. You're creating that reality. Do, do people understand that? And when you have that, again, everything needs to be hardcore. So it's just, yeah, man, I'm just going to come in and lift the weights, you know, because it's what I do. It's just what I do, guys. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Even Ronnie Holman, you know, lightweight, ain't nothing but a peanut, yeah, buddy. You know how chill that attitude is? Look at the weight that guy was lifting. But do you understand that that's because he told himself that? You guys remember that mindset? I called it lightweight because it is lightweight. He created his own reality with that. And when you tell yourself that and you actually believe it, it makes it easier. It actually makes hard training not really seem that difficult. Until like, you know, you're cramping later and you go, my God, I probably did too much training. It didn't feel like it while I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> because it becomes that easy. I literally assess recovery based upon, I know this is probably too much. Oh, I'm getting some cramps. Yeah, I'm cramping in the middle of this workout. I should probably chill with this. Or my own rational mind knows it's too much work. It's not because it's too hard. Okay? And you can, you can program yourself to believe that, and it actually gets really easy. It just becomes part of your life. And when that happens, you know, you guess what? You can't get the right song to time right. Uh, you know, your, your AirPods mess up. Oh, you didn't have your good belt. You didn't have the right shoes today. Oh, my God. Oh, the bench was a little slippery. I didn't chalk it up. I was too sweaty. All those things just go away. They go away. Right? Also removes the emotional negatives. You know, oh no, you missed a lift, you had a problem with it. Guess what? It, it happens. I'll do better next time. Not a big deal. Look at it and say, well, why was I weak? Was I was I not rested enough? Did I have weak hamstrings? You look at it, go, okay, cool, I'll fix it. It becomes not a big deal. Right? All right, guys, but that's, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.